I can remember clearly when the Russians put up Sputnik. My brother and I uh, were on the patio of our house, and he started telling me about it. From that point, we started putting together rockets, and it was actually what took me into this career. What kids hear now is really the reverse, a disinvestment in contrast to that period. Sequestration is going to be a considerable hit. We're estimating that the, the hit to the School of Medicine research will be on the order of three or more million dollars each month. And that is going to have a very substantial impact. Um, it certainly is going to uh, decrease uh, job opportunities for people. But there are two things that are more specific. One is the loss of the medical benefit, the benefit to health that people would otherwise feel. And the other thing is it will be very discouraging to those people who are now making decisions about what they're going to do in their life. And when they anticipate training for a period of nine years or so in order to be able to become a biomedical scientist, it's very difficult to commit to something like that when the future is so uncertain. For decades, uh, the federal government has been investing in research that has allowed enormous stride in, in genomics and in other areas, and we're ready now to deliver the benefits from that. We have some outstanding work going on here, genome sciences that will be translated into precision diagnostics, cancer chemotherapy, uh, better ways to treat kidney disease to actually make a wearable uh, dialysis device that will allow people to walk around and be dialyzed at the same time. Treatments for color blindness that are right on the edge that have proved effective in models and um, are very close to going into humans. Rheumatoid arthritis is another very big target in lots of autoimmune diseases just a variety of diseases. We've been in just an extraordinary era of discovery and what this is going to do it's just going to throw us from fourth gear into third. The commitment to improving human health is within the DNA of everybody at UW Medicine. We're not going to be deterred from that path. It's going to be more difficult. We're going to have to be more nimble uh, and efficient but we remain committed to it and we will stick to the mission of improving health.